So I'd now like to bring the stage to uh, Natalie um, from Globalization Monitor in Hong Kong to talk about the drinking water problems in China. Natalie? Uh, I was speak and if you don't understand me, uh, just raise your hand and I will repeat. And first of all, I will give a very brief uh, introduction of our organizations. We are Globalization Monitor based in Hong Kong, and we will focus on we are focused on the mainland situations, and we will do the uh, research and the education training for the uh, mainland China NGO. And first, uh, I will give a very brief data about the bottom water demand in. China. Uh, it is about started on the 1980s because the water pollution is getting seriously and then people are trying to drink the water water. And in 2009, in 1919, um, the demand is increased to 20% uh, annually and until now it's um, still increasing. So um, the main reasons of the water water demise, the great water water demise, is because the top uh, tap water qualities. It is the photos taken by the uh, newspaper in mainland China. So you can see the tap water is not really good in the, especially in the second city, because many manufacturing are flex, flex, facilitated in the second city, and then the urban surface is not really good. So um, it is the corner, uh, the China map about the uh, urban surf water surface privatization situations, and we are now have only nine first cities still uh, state owned, and the other urban supplies company is uh, being already privatized. So the tap water quality is not uh, being improved after the privatized. So nowadays there's a four level of drinking waters are identified by the general public. The first level is to drink the bad quality um, tap water. And the second uh, level is to drink the bottled water. And the third is to uh, drink the water uh, with, the, um, with the machines to treat the water in their home. So you can see that they will think uh, people are turning to uh, we do a research in mainland China, and then we ask people why you drink the bottled water, and 55 percent they say it's because the drinking the bottled water is more convenient, and 43 percent they say it because the bottled water have better qualities. But uh, in here, the convenience means that they don't need to be treat the tap waters. So you can see, uh, this 153 uh, percent of the people say it is because because it is more convenience. The reasons why is because they think the tap water is not good enough. That's why they need to treat before they drink. So they think uh, if I buy the bottom water, it will be more convenient to drink this directly. Uh, bottom water is a really good business in mainland China. Even the water se supply sectors, they do large investments to provide bottom waters. Uh, for example, in Guangzhou, the state-owned tap water supplies, they have invested uh, 18 million RMB to produce the carbon waters. It is the water sectors, but they do invest to set up a business to produce the uh, bottom waters. So it is quite contradiction why water sectors can provide better quality of water, but they don't provide it as a tap water, but they package it and then to sell it as a bottom waters. And the price is about 300 higher than the tap waters. Uh, about the foreign investments, uh, Thailand's uh, official statement says they regard China as a one of the biggest uh, web uh, developer um, bottom water uh, business in Asia. So they have tend to invest a lot and focus in the China business. So it is the uh, companies they own and then they sell the bottom water in China. So you can see it's a lot. And it is um, all this brand name um, is the most famous in local bottom water brand name.
And then lastly, it's mainly selling their own bottled waters, their own brand name. But they have buy a bottled waters um, in Yunnan. Um, the, about the pumping the mineral waters, China is one of the first country pumping the largest uh, mineral waters, and we have the largest numbers of the mineral water company in China. Uh, it is the some the uh, some stat about the um, amounts being pumped by the uh, companies. We are just focusing on the few largest uh, famous bottled waters in China, and the number is already that much. So you can uh, imagine how much the mineral water being pumped in China. Uh, we have go to the um, uh, some state, uh, some place, and then to do the case study about the how bottled water is impacted, uh, impact on the local place. Um, we have choose the Nelsley. Um, <coughs> this one at the corner. We have uh, Nelsley is just bought this uh, about by this company for two years, and then we went to this place. And then we, you can see the river is already dry out, but there is many people live in this village, and people are using this uh, river to cleaning for daily drinking. But um, because the bottom water is set up here, so the water is being polluted, so they cannot drink this water anymore, and they have no uh, river, uh, the surface river for their uh, farming. They are the farmer in this village. So the uh, uh, the farmer is complaining that before they have the river to uh, give the water supplies for the farmland, but now they are um, depending on the rain because the groundwater is getting decreasing. Uh, before the groundwater level is seven meters under the ground, and then now it is twenty meters. Uh, for the worst case, I see um, is they uh, before they have seventeen uh, meters under the ground levels, the ground waters, and then now it is two hundred in these mountains. So um, other water is being really polluted. But in this zone, they have the they, the government have really um, good protecting the water resources. The reason is only one reason because they can sell it to the bottom water company and then to make a great money. Um, the reason, the reason why is the groundwater is being seriously polluted is uh, being uh, seriously pumped is because the regulation is uh, uh, is not good in China. For example, the central government is only provided the guidance for the local government to set up their own regulations on the water pumping. Uh, for example, they will uh, suggest the local government to tax on the bottled water company. But whether the local government to practice this to test the bottled waters is depends on their preference. And then the example choose is the local government will try to promote, they have uh, uh, put already put great effort on protecting the waters. For example, they set up the protection zone, what I have mentioned before. But in fact, it is to sell the waters, to, to protect the water, uh, water resources, and then to sell it to the bottled water company. But they are not aimed as to protect the water resources. And the third uh, frame is because the large tax invest uh, income provided by the bottom water companies. For example, in some um, province, uh, they will have about three billions uh, of tax income to the local governments. So, um, because the good water resources usually in the real place in mainland China, so these governments have. Uh, comparatively low income, so they will regard selling the water resources as a really good uh, tool to learn incomes. But uh, um, originally, this test income is uh, aimed as to uh, punish the water pumping activities, but uh, as a result, people are using it, uh, the government is using it for money learning um, uh, measures. And then finally, the point is uh, because the government and the bottled water company is uh, really have a close relationship, 
Sometimes the government officials is the owner of the bottom water companies, so they will control the water resources to um, not let the other companies to get it, don't um, to uh, deter the local people to gain the water resources, and then and then they have the uh, ultimate power to control the water resources. So what will they use for is to set up their own water, bottom water company and then to sell it to the public. Uh, it is uh, because the time is running out and I already know I, my English is not really understandable. So I have uh, read up the paper. It is what my presentation is inside. So you can take one and then the last one is um, the regulations on the, of the bottom water qualities uh, because there are many kinds of bottom waters in mainland China but only two kinds of the bottom water have the regulations and the other ones is just allow the uh, corporates to do it themselves and then directly to sell it to the market without any regulations. Uh, it is our conclusion because in mainland China the water resources is being really polluted and then the people are turned to drink the bottom waters. And I try to do some educations and then tell them what the bottom water um, is bad to us. But the general public will think because the water is not good and I have no choice. So we are now is not doing to stop the bottom water and in this time. But we will promote that the bottom water is only a temporary um, alternative to the tap waters and our goal is to um, improve the tap waters at the end we will stop totally stop the bottom water um, demand and we will um, promote to uh, protect the water resources from groundwater mining and then the court controls and um, and the last one, because in some rural place, they don't have um, enough money to afford to buy bottom waters. So they just um, drink the dark tap waters. So we are trying to um, uh, lobby with the local government to protect the human rights of assessing the clean waters in uh, every place in mainland China. So it's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.